back at the spot, and on this spot, we're going to be having a look at the Spider-Man 2008 Hasbro series Tarantula. Tarantula was one of the figures I really wanted to get from this wave, or from this series. We have a look at the packaging. We have Spider-Man up at the top left-hand corner. This figure does come with break apart crates, which uh, I'll uh, get into more when I have this figure opened up. And Tarantula down at the bottom there. Um, on the back of the packaging, we get a nice picture of the of Tarantula. The other characters in the wave are Cyber Spider-Man. I don't know the story behind that one. We have the web stick Spider-Man, but in the classic blue colors. We have black costume Spider-Man. Green Goblin. Now this is from the recent incarnation of uh, Green Goblin. And I really do not like the look of that Green Goblin. And I've... I've been very vocal about that in the past, that I really don't like the look of this new Goblin costume. And uh, I, I don't follow comics enough to know lately, like I don't read a lot of comics as much as I used to, to know whether... Now I know Norman Osborn is part of um, what the Dark, the Dark Avengers, is he still part of the Dark Avengers? So he probably... I know he's what... Uh, he's in the Iron Man kind of costume now. So I don't think we're going to... I don't think there's a Green Goblin right now in the comic continuity, but I hope when they do eventually bring out a new Goblin, whether it's Norman Osborn or somebody else, I really hope they don't bring this costume back. Bring back the classic green costume, uh, Green Goblin. But uh, the other figures, there's Juggernaut, there's also Carnage. Um, I'm really disappointed that Hasbro once again has opted to put a firing web mechanism into the hands. Um, I, I'm pretty sure this symbiote black costume Spider-Man has been reused a couple of times because that same gimmick is in about two or three figures from Hasbro. Uh, really, guys, can you stay away from this? I mean, I know you have to call, you're calling them action figures, but if you want to give him a firing web, can it just be something that attaches to his arm so that we don't lose this articulation and that he doesn't then have a hole in his hand? Please. Um, but there we have the figures in the wave. There's a bit of a read up at the top here. It says trained and equipped by an trained and equipped by an oppressive government, Tarantula traveled north to take on the United States native heroes. There he sold his skills to the highest bidder, working for evil corporations and criminal organizations. His natural fighting skills and the technology built into his suit make him nearly a match for any hero, even Spider Man. I uh, really like the uh, Tarantula. Um, I liked him in the comics too. I thought he was a pretty neat character. And I was glad to finally pick him up in the figure when they finally released it. But there you have the packaging on Tarantula. I'm going to get this guy opened up and we will get a closer look at Tarantula. Don't go anywhere. I was disappointed to find that when I got my Tarantula out, well, I shouldn't say when I got him out, even when I was, I saw him in the packaging. I, ha I can't help but notice that there's a bit of a paint application problem. Um, and by paint application, I mean actually there's paint missing off the tip of his nose. Um, sure enough, of all the figures out there, I'm sure there were plenty of figures that didn't have this, this mark on his nose. Um, it might not even be paint wear as much as it just a, daub of, uh, a dab of black paint went on his nose. But it would have been nice if uh, he didn't have that. Of course, it, my figures, uh, I always seem to have the uh, the unlucky ones. But um, aside from that, though, I really like the color application. The paint scheme on the figure is really nice. And you've got the, uh, the red with the black spider symbol there. And uh, if the arm is straight, it obviously would carry all the way down the arm as well. Um, before I actually get more into the figure, I wanted to comment on the crates here. Just get them to stand here. Um, oop, the crates themselves stay. The crates themselves I think are what really makes this character, I mean the character itself is nice and the fact that they would have done such an obscure character like Tarantula is, is a really nice, uh, a nice treat to the fans. But I really like the crates. And if you ask me, I mean for every figure that Hasbro releases, whether it be Spider-Man, uh, X-Men, anything like that, I mean, they should throw in little accessories like this, because, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when I have these things on display, things like 
like this, the scorpion figure came with a mailbox, a newspaper box, and uh, I mean throw in stuff like this. The Spider-Man came with a lamp post. It's nice when you have them on display that you can actually have things with them. And I mean the crate's open, they don't hold anything, or at least they don't come with anything inside. But uh, really nice, I mean if you're going to throw something in with a figure, throw in something that you could put on a display and kind of just, you know, adds to the scene. Um, going back to the figure though, really really nice detailing, and he's got detailing on the headband. Now the head, the uh, not really a headband, but the bandana I guess, jets out. It would have been nice if it went just a little lower, but uh, he clearly is going somewhere really really fast. Um, in the way of his articulation, he has articulation in the head. Um, lots of movement in the head because it's sitting on a ball joint. Um, he has articulation in the shoulders, which the Spider-Man didn't have. Um, there's articulation in the actual shoulder itself, articulation in the arm. Uh, he has articulation in the hand and also in the fingers. So uh, despite the fact this isn't a Marvel Legends, you still get a lot of articulation. He has the articulation in the torso, articulation in the waist, the leg, two points in the knee, um, also in the foot, and his Pointy shoes also has articulation there in the toe. So a lot of articulation. I also didn't mention that there's articulation in the calf. But uh, really, really nice detailing for uh, what I think to be as a really, uh, at least I think of it as a very obscure character. So it's nice that Hasbro was uh, releasing some of the more... Because, you know, I mean, you can only release so many Spider-Man figures and uh, Venom... It's nice that they did something a little bit different, but uh, that was a that was Hasbro's 2008 Tarantula figure that hit the spot. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.